all right everyone it is officially the start of a new month once again in a year that you could have swore was just beginning last week it's almost like time itself is speed running new pbs to make us older but just like how we're you know starting a new month we also unofficially started a new age of modern video game development that on one hand has given us the literal best games ever produced from a technology standpoint but on the other from lack of a better term is also the worst shit ever. I think that even the casual gamers who just turn on their consoles every few days and maybe follow like one gaming news page on social media like IGN, which is tragic itself, I think that what's going on with video game development right now has reached all ears connected to gaming and that news of course is with the insane amount of layoffs that the industry has been facing for almost a year now. It is a really sad thing to see and hear about and you know, if you want to know why it's all happening, I made a banger a few months ago breaking it all down when we first reached that downward slope of job loss. But you know, even still, all that's besides the main point. I had to briefly get morbid on y'all like a funeral so that you could have a better understanding on context because it's just another thing dangling over the head of even the biggest gaming companies out there like Rockstar Games, aka the people behind Okay, let's just not act like we don't know who they are. I'm not going to insult y'all like that. Grand Theft Auto 6, biggest game ever hype, you know the deal. These guys, for the most part, move in secrecy like the CIA over the games that they're currently developing and, you know, the ones that they plan to develop whilst distracting their fans with the circus act of seeing how far they can milk a decade you wrote game. What the fuck? They just did it again. But unfortunately, the times that we're living in right now is undoubtedly their biggest opposition because not only did over an hour of early Grand Theft Auto 6 footage get leaked, but even when they caved in and decided to finally drop an official trailer, that even got leaked before its initial time release and you could just tell that Rockstar is fighting a losing battle against the modern day internet. And it seems like they understand this as well because their most recent call to action is apparently their solution to their overpopularity problem that they're facing. But even though it's aimed to fix this problem, it also spawned another internal issue of being one that's pissing off their team of people that are working hard to work on all of their new games. So basically, about a day ago, Rockstar Games head of publishing Jen Kobe announced to the game's company staff that they were planning on ending hybrid work schedules for the employees who were doing that for years now and forcing them to make a return to the physical office. For those that don't know, hybrid means partially doing your work from home and also at the job work site, aka the COVID schedule that some people used to have if they didn't feel like scamming the PPP loans. And you know, this is all really significant to the developers because, you know, like many other gaming companies during the COVID time, Rockstar allowed their employees to be able to have flexible schedules working at home and also at the office, which greatly benefit employees who had, you know, health issues, commute issues, and just overall giving them more happiness because, you know, who wouldn't want to do their work from their own house if you're built for that. But due to the security reasons of the game being put into jeopardy, you know, multiple times, Rockstar doesn't want to take that risk anymore and just force all these people back to their original work schedule, which is worrying the developers who fear that they might be subject to bad work environments that they used to face before, you know, all this COVID stuff happened and they had to crunch down a crazy amount of work in a short amount of time. Which I'm guessing is something that was, you know, reduced when they were working from home is what I'm guessing. Now, you know, here's the thing. I know that for most people that actually have work that, you know, are watching this video, you know, like myself, hearing this kind of news of people being forced to go to work when you yourself watching likely have to give up hours of your day to transport to a work spot, it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to give a f you know, I understand that. But I just think it's one of those things where you could practice a little bit of empathy because, you know, if it isn't already, imagine if the job that you were working right now was remote for most of it and the people that you were working for were just like, yeah, you know, remember when we said that you could work from home and we were going to change that anytime soon, you know, you we, we were cool with that? Yeah, um, yeah, um, f that. So I still do think that it is a pretty sad change to see happen, but where this all connects to the initial statement that I made in the beginning of the video talking about the impending layoffs is with the ongoing theory circulating online that Rockstar Games in fact isn't doing this for security and instead might be doing this knowing that people adjusted to this work schedule will likely quit which is their elaborate way of getting their own version of the layoffs without drawing too much attention to the company in a negative way. 
Kind of a sinister corporate move that I doubt anyone will find hard to believe because, you know, this is the same company who launched a subscription service on Grand Theft Auto Online and filled it with the most mid rewards possible. After that, you, you can't, you, you just can't put anything past them at that point. So whether this is in fact a security plan or, you know, an elaborate corporate layoff plan has yet to be seen, but either way, Rockstar developers have voiced their discomfort with the overall situation with their next move, whether it be a strike since most of them are already in a union or maybe them leaving the company altogether has yet to be seen. Either way, I still do think that this is all news that we should be aware of since, you know, Grand Theft Auto 6 is one of the biggest games of all time, so the people behind it are just as important as the game itself. But, of course, we'll just have to wait and see what happens to Rockstar Games going forward in the future. So what do you guys think about Rockstar Games and, you know, these devs speaking out right now, man? Feel free to comment down below. Let's have a look in the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.